seven. But the bigger conversation is the big moves we want our teams to make here. Because yeah. the Wings will have discussions between now and next Friday. The Tigers, a lot of people see this J.D. Martinez thing looming. Would he make sense? A bat for a team trying to win the division, a winnable AL Central. And then there's the obvious. Guys, football. Lions are close to a Super Bowl. Our question was, who is at the top of the bold move index in Detroit right now? The team that you most want to do something, and what is the move you want to see them make? 248 539 97 97. So I'm going to adjust mine just a little bit. I'm going to include another one because you, you really triggered me with the whole second round. In hockey, what'll second round pick will get you? Um, and that's a defenseman, Tanev, for uh, you know the rest of the season. In the NFL, what a second round pick will give you for giving it up could be a number one cover corner. Now you're going to have to pay that cover corner, but if Legereus Sneed. The asking price, most likely, when you look around the NFL and you see from, you know, when you hear from former GMs, you hear the scuttle, that it, they're looking for a second round pick for Legereus Sneed. And then you're going to have to get Legereus Sneed to agree to a contract to consummate the trade. Sure. If he goes for a second round pick and five years, let's just say $100 million or anything under that. I'll be upset that the Lions aren't in on that. I think they could get that done. If he goes for anything over that, say somebody gives up a first round pick. All right, I'm out. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, if if they if they say it's uh, maybe it's seven year contract, and it's you know guaranteed hundred billion dollars, but it's going to be for instead of the twenty million dollars a year, it's twenty three million dollars a year. Somebody is going to overpay. That again, I'm out. I, I, that's not what I'm looking for. I think the value is there, and and it's market price will be market price. Somebody's mm-hmm. going to pay something more, you know, at at times. But if it's a second round pick, five years, hundred million dollars, anything less than that or at that, I think the Lions should be in on it. If it's over that, I'm okay if they're out. That's the, one of the big moves that I would like to see them make a bold move on this BMI. Um, scale here. The other one is Daniil Hunter. You don't have to work a trade. Mm-hmm. You don't have to worry about a franchise tag coming down at the last moment before free agency starts. Free agency for the NFL tampering period will start March 11. You can finally put pen to paper on March 13 at 4 p.m. When that happens, I think Daniil Hunter could be a Detroit Lion and be a guy that you go out there and it's I don't know, what do you pay him, F- three years, four years? He's 29. I'd be good with a three-year contract. I'd be fine with a four-year contract, too. That's somewhere in the area of $22 million a year. And you have the money to do it. I was going to say, he adds, sitting on it. Yeah, he adds to your, obviously, your pass rush. And you don't have to then spend, you don't have to go get a number one cover corner because you've just taken care of the, the, the clock. The clock is going to go off a heck of a lot sooner on opposing quarterbacks because you got Hutch, Aleem McNeil, and uh, uh, Daniil Hunter getting after him. Hunter will be available. They do have the space. It is a position of need. They're the closest to a championship. Mm-hmm. That's my answer to who and who. Which team and which player? It's the Lions and Daniil Hunter. I think there's a case for the Wings to pursue some defensemen still. We can talk about that. Of course, the Tigers would probably be third for me, and the Pistons are technically a Detroit sports team, so they would be fourth.